On Brian Feroldi's YouTube channel, he has a video called Forget DCF Models, Use This Instead. And in the description, there's a link where if you click on it, it sends you to a website where you enter in your email address and Brian emails you a Google Sheets document that looks something like this. Uh, the video goes through a step-by-step -step procedure as to how to fill out the Google Sheets document. Uh, with set, step seven saying adjust growth rate until current and intrinsic values match. Uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the free cash flow growth rate for the first 10 years or step seven can be calculated so the current and intrinsic values match versus Brian Feroldi's method, which is the following. For Google. Finally, we look at the company's growth rate over the next 10 years. We're going to play with this number until its current and intrinsic values match. So next, we're going to be inputting different growth rates for Google's free cash flow over the next 10 years, which will change its estimated intrinsic value. We're going to keep making changes to that until its current share price and its estimated intrinsic value match. So let's start out by assuming that Google will grow its free cash flow by 15% per year over the next 10 years. When we input that 15% growth rate, what the model kicks out is an estimated intrinsic value of roughly $169, and we can see that's far higher than the stock trades for today. So that means that that 15% growth rate is too high, and we need to bring that dumber down until the current and estimated intrinsic values match. So let's lower that growth rate down to 10%. When we do, we see that the prices are much closer at $116, but we can still fine tune it. So we'll reduce that estimated growth rate to just 9%, and by doing so, we get an estimated intrinsic value that nearly matches the company's current share price. So now that we've landed on a growth rate, let's step back and look at what we're saying is happening. We believe that Google will grow its free cash flow by 9% per year over the next 10 years, and then for as long as it exists after that, it will grow at roughly 3% per year. This is the Google Sheet provided by Brian Feroldi. Um, one thing to note is that today is Sunday, June 11th, 2023, and that's why the current share price is different from what Brian had in his video. Um, I'm on step seven, which means I've entered in the stock ticker Google or Goog, which automatically populated the share price, shares outstanding market cap, I've looked up and entered the free cash flow trail in 12 months, 60 billion, 10 million. I've entered in 3% growth rate, terminal growth rate, and, and the 10% discount rate. Now I want to know what year, year 1 through 10 growth rate is required in order for the share price to be equal to the estimated intrinsic value. Another way to state that is what year 1 through 10 growth rate is required for the market cap in millions to be equal to the total present value of cash flow in millions. In order to calculate that, I revise the spreadsheet a little bit by adding this section here, and then I'm going to use extensions, goal seek. If you don't have goal seek, you go to add ons, get add on, you can download it. So you open goal seek once you download it, and you have uh, three entries. The first is the set cell. In this spreadsheet, this is the set cell. What this uh, formula represents is a combination of all the formulas in this section that result in this total present value. So we want, this is the total present value. Um, that will be the target value, cell of the target value. I'm gonna enter that there. Then I copy market cap in millions, paste special values in millions which allows me to just to copy this and enter this in as the target value because you want the market cap in millions to be equal to the total present value of cash flows in millions and then finally we want to calculate that by we want to get the the two to match by changing this cell here so we're going to enter that that what you one through ten growth rate as the by changing cell hit solve
Okay. And we can see this percentage here is what we get. And we can see now the current share price is equal to the estimated intrinsic value. And we see that the total present value of in, in millions of cash flows in millions is equal to the market cap in millions. And in order to verify that this number is correct, what we can do is copy this and take it back to Brian's original spreadsheet and paste that number in here. And we see that they match.